Hello, I'm Mary Ann Lennox, your Staff Training and Development Coordinator. Today I want to talk about a new piece of software that we're, we'll be using for our intranet. So let me go ahead and take you there. I do want you to note that this is a uh, this is a project in development, so this is beta. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the layout will remain the same, but for the most part, um, this is a beta project. Uh, we do have a few users who are already beginning, uh, and we'll be rolling this out to the general staff in the near future. So let me go ahead and uh, show you a little bit how it works and how to create a new account. The first thing I'd like to show you is that the blog is fully searchable, which is just great because finally we'll be able to search for items that have been posted on the intranet, um, holiday schedules, as you see, show up on the search. Let me go ahead and go back to the front page. The software is an open source software called Drupal. Uh, and I think you're going to be very pleased with the collaborative content that the software will generate. In the right hand side are polls. Uh, you can vote on the polls when you're logged in and comment on them. You can also see who's online and browse the archives on a daily or a monthly basis. Now the center section is um, highlights from the user's blogs and so any information that you're used to seeing on the internet is going to be the same type of internet, uh, the same type of information, uh, but it's going to be much more personal in fact that everyone's going to be posting their own information and receiving comments on those. Now on the left hand side you see two sections, navigation and user login. So let me go ahead and uh, click on All About Staff. And this will hold items such as staff birthdays, blogs, books. And books are specific areas where people uh, create pages and um, other items to inform the staff about their plans. Uh, the Staff Training and Development page will live here. On Stuff for Staff, you see things like Print Shop, which has already been ported over. Uh, the Strategic Plans and other items have already been brought over. At Our Place in Space, you can see that all of the locations and departments have been given their own special place, and that's where our, uh, those managers can post relevant information uh, about their departments and upcoming events and people will be able to comment on them and post on them. Team space are, is a place where the committees and specific work groups will have uh, a working evolutionary document from which um, to refer back to. Now in order to get involved with the new Drupal based intranet you're going to have to create a new account. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking on create new account. So from the Create a New Account page, we have to go in and put our um, real and actual first name and our real and actual last name. You also want to use your real uh, working email address. Now the only things that are absolutely necessary at this point are the items that are noted with a red asterisk. You do need to put your birthday in. And you'll also want to make sure your location is correct, the library where you work, and also your work telephone number. So now you can scroll down and click Create New Account. Note that you've got a message at the top of the blog space that your password has been mailed to you. So now we can check our email. And I see that, yes, I do have a password from the webmaster. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and just right click on this and choose Copy after I've selected the text. That is a computer-generated password. 
So now I can log in. And note that once you log in, uh, the links change in the menu bar. Also, your name is displayed at the top. On the My Account link is where you can edit the information that everyone else sees. You can also change your password here. You can upload a picture or an avatar, your virtual face on the internet. You can add a signature. Uh, the contact settings are whether or not someone can contact you via um, your personal contact form here on the new intranet and that's come to your email address. If you click on the More About Me link, you have more information that you can add. If you click on the Workplace link, you can add your department and IM address and even a favorite quote. So once you've done that, go ahead and click Submit. And now you can see your profile on the staff user list. and how it looks to the rest of the staff. And now that you're logged in, you're able to comment and vote in polls. So, I hope you explore the new intranet and um, add some content. Our next screencast will be about creating a blog, creating a blog post. Um, Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions, um, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.